Investigators say the crash off a California cliff that killed a Washington state family may have been intentional. The California Highway Patrol says the SUV carrying Jennifer and Sarah Hart and at least three of their adopted children drove straight off the cliff without stopping. Their three other children are missing but are presumed dead. Vladimir Duty of our streaming network CBSN is here now with new details. But this was a heartbreaking story last week. To hear it might have been done on purpose takes it to a whole the different whole, yeah, level. The whole country feels for this family because right. of little Devante Hart. We saw that photo of him. Uh, the sheriff's office says it believes at least one felony was committed in this case. It won't say what that felony is or why it believes that. But new details are starting to help us understand what may have happened on that Northern California cliff. The California Highway Patrol says electronic data pulled from the Hart's SUV is helping piece together the family's final tragic moments. Preliminary information shows the SUV pulled off Highway 1, stopping on a dirt turnaround about 70 feet from the cliff's edge. Police say the vehicle then accelerated, plunging straight into the Pacific Ocean. There were no skid marks found on the scene or signs the driver tried to brake. Authorities described the SUV's speedometer as pinned at 90 miles per hour, but investigators say that number could have been caused by the impact of the crash. Late last week, investigators searched Sarah and Jennifer Hart's home in Woodland, Washington, where they had recently moved with their six adopted children. Authorities say no suicide note was found. They portray this happy little family. But neighbors yeah. like Dana DeKalb yeah. say there were signs of trouble, prompting her to call Child Protective Services. Their daughter's telling us, please, 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 begging us not to make her go back and that they are abusing her. In 2011, when the family lived in Minnesota, Sarah Hart pleaded guilty to domestic assault. According to court documents, she admitted she bent her six-year-old daughter over a bathtub and hit her on the backside. There was no question as to how completely loved and adored those children were. Zippy Lomax met the family in 2012 and said she is shocked by allegations of abuse. None of that lines up with the people that we all knew. It's really hard to imagine. Child Protective Services visited the family home at least three times in the days before the crash, but never saw the hearts. Investigators say they have written search warrants for the couple's cell phone and bank records. As of now, they do not know why the family was in California. Just Badger think about those around. kids in that car. Probably had no idea this was coming. Indeed. Very sad story. Oh.